When so much of life is about the big moments, it's the details in the all-new 2022 Grand Wagoneer that make the small moments truly special. Take joy in American premium design and available technology, like the 23-speaker Macintosh reference entertainment system, and with seating for up to eight, no detail is overlooked. Because it's the details that make every journey grand. The Grand Wagoneer. Grand adventures return. Wagoneer is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. Geico asks, how would you love a chance to save some money on insurance? Of course you would. And when it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help. Like with insurance for your car, truck, motorcycle, boat, and RV. Even help with homeowners or renters coverage. Plus, add an easy-to-use mobile app, available 24-hour roadside assistance and more, and GEICO is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. It's easy. Simply go to GEICO.com or contact your local agent today. Hi there, I am Adam Kibas, and this is my, my pot cast literary analysis. I mean, this is a new podcast uh, where I will start um, on a weekly basis where I want to talk about literature. We will, uh, I thought it a good idea to some sort of a separate literature analysis from all my other pot casts in order to, to really some sort of f- think about books in general and so on and analyze them um, accordingly. Of course our analysis will be um, built on two, uh, two uh, foundations. The first foundation would be of course we will some sort of um, analyze literature according to their philosophical worth because um, I am I studied philosophy and I'm quite interested in philosophy um, and in general just in humanity humanities so if there is uh, one novel or one play one whatever you have uh, we will analyze it according to to their philo so fickle worth to their politics and so on. And the second foundation of our analysis, of our literature analysis, would be that we will some sort of try to understand literature, but not in that sense that we, we some sort of want to understand why it is uh, uh, the, the key message or whatever, no, at all. Uh, I'm an author, I write, and I want to understand Mm-hmm. Or if you're an author, you want to understand one thing in, in another author, and this is how he writes. This is style. This is what is good, what you assume is good, what is something you can use in your own writing, because you have to be aware of one thing that uh, in order to become a unique writer, you firstly have to uh, read other authors. You have to analyze their style or uh, uh, their plot line, what is good, what do they make good, what you can some sort of incorporate in your own writing. And I think this can be very valuable mm, primarily for other writers if you some sort of mm, analyze some novels which mm, I I will not uh, give any restrictions, so I will some sort of uh, be open with it. However, um, I am. It will be mainly uh, English literature, um, of course, uh, with some exceptions. But we will not only um, analyze uh, novels, but as well as plays and so on and so forth, and then as well as analyze the structure. Um, I will have some sort of n- not intro those common plot lines we will maybe in the end discuss some of the plot lines I mean plot lines are these uh, very famous one I don't know whether you know them but uh, like Hero's Journey or I think Kurt Wonne Gott wrote uh, uh, a little bit about plot lines or how how the normal novel is structured 
um, I, I think you, you can talk about this stuff, yeah, but you can talk about movies as well. So I would some sort of orient orient myself right on movies because movies are very dominating in our time. Movies or the plot structure of a movie is firstly adapted from 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 theater. This is adapted from Shakespeare um, and. Hmm. Movies in our time have a great influence on people, so 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 it is not bad or it's not it's not stupid if you some sort of analyze movies as well, some sort of try to try to understand how this is structured. And um, luckily, there is actually good material on movies, how to structure movies. You can watch them on on, on uh, you for free there are some great stuff uh, which, which I would recommend indeed so just uh, some sort of uh, type of screenwriting or plot structure in YouTube uh, then you will find a lot of stuff of course I want to know or well, I have to mention one thing and this is what I have mentioned in another pod cast as well where I talk about uh, uh, my own writing process and this is that this uh, normal structure that uh, that a plot would have for example three structures three elements this is the beginning this is the uh, this is the middle part which means the rising tension and this is some sort of the end the conclusion and so on well if you're an author if you write novels or if you write screenplays, whatever you have, then you will pretty much come to the to the con conclusion. Well, this is not really much, or this has no really saying and so on. So, of course, you will say every plot has three structures: the beginning, the middle part, and the end. Well, this is so. I would say this is just a general statement, which if you write novels, if you produce anything uh, in the literature, then you will pretty much come to the conclusion, well, this is really not that much. Um, and, we, um, and we will try to go more into the... Uh, in the we will try to understand uh, how um, how some plays or some novels are structured. This is um, very interesting indeed because I know this from my own experience. If you write a novel, if you write a, a screenplay, short story, whatever it is, the main cause you have is structure. Or at least well, some of us will have it very easy with ideas. I mean, I... Uh, uh, or, Getting some sort sort of ideas is actually not that very difficult if you mind me some sort of poking some of you, but if you only read the newspapers, there is a lot of crime, there is a lot of tragedies if you are on i don't know on a, or follow some celeb British, their life stories, and so on and so forth. So there is a lot of material, a lot of stuff on the internet where you do not have to worry about ideas, at least for my concern. Or you can just read. This is what many authors be before us did. They just read about other authors and then some sort of put something together this is one of the reasons why in modern theater the the those great plays of the antiquity are still uh, are, are still being being played are still being used and still give some sort of a, um, or the main characters of modern plays are still some sort of landed or borrowed from the antiquity of from the ancient uh, from the antiquity, especially from the Greek, from the Greek tragedies and so on. So Shakespeare, for example, got a lot of from the Greek uh, theater. However, it is uh, so, 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 if you don't mind me saying, well, it is not that very difficult to some sort of get ideas. I mean, there is a lot of stuff. I 
listen to a lot of audio books, you should do this as well. I talked about it in my other podcast as well. So, so there is uh, plenty of of material you can get in order to be a good writer. And if you really want to improve yourself, if you really want to be a good writer, then first and for all, you have to put in the effort. So it is true that some people are just gifted. They have this ability to write good stuff or good poetry and so on. And and if you do not have it, well, this is not a bad thing. You can still put in the effort and some sort of gain this knowledge experience and and you can gain them in reading other books and analyzing them or plays. So this will be our task or our our understanding in this in, in this pot cast I I I mean about myself I wanna talk a little bit about myself. You heard it I said I'm an author as well. You can read some of my stuff on what what pad you can buy it on Amazon whatever you want and I studied philosophy uh, political science history so uh, I studied a lot uh, of stuff uh, I only made it to a bachelor it is enough for me I do not need more I do not need any further degree right now I am not in the university anymore I some sort of turned my back to the university and but yet I still some sort of edu educate myself this is the internet is a fine thing you do not have to use it just for uh, Facebook or, or Instagram you can as well as use it or good goodly use it for for educating yourself it is a great thing if you want if you seek knowledge however as you might heard it uh, I am not an English native speaker. I was born uh, in Austria. I grew up in Austria and I went to school in Austria. My mother tongue is German. Despite the fact that I speak, uh, my mother tongue is German, we will not talk about German literature at all because, well, this has many reasons, many reasons in that sense. Well, German literature it is not really a world class literature of course there are some authors like Goethe and so on which are really good but Germany or mm, I would rather say that Germany or German and Austrians are very well known for their philosophers but not primarily primarily for their poets and authors and Writers. However, I, I deeply think that English literature, or that um, uh, in general um, English, uh, the English language is dominating in our time, is the dominating force in our time. Good stuff is, and good stuff has been written in English. So, um, so I'm some sort of a fan of English literature, despite the fact, again, I did not had much edu- education in English literature because of course if you grew up in Austria and if you uh, in Austria you mainly firstly you talk a lot about about uh, spelling spelling in Austria in Germany is uh, tricky wicked especially with this capital forms and so on and so forth so and then grammar so in school we mostly uh, talked about spelling grammar and, on, and only scarcely um, talked about literature. I mean, this is bad, or, of course, because I think young folks should not waste much time learning how to spell because we live in the age of the computer. The the, the spelling check does it for you. So, so, so And it is for free, um, however it is, but in Germany or during... Well, well, during the time when I went to school, the priorities were different indeed. 
maybe something has changed, maybe I don't know, I don't know, I am in Turkey, so, 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 when you are listing this, or I will some sort of air this out of Turkey, we are in the pandemic, I hope that you all are doing fine, uh, I mean, you cannot change it, what has been going on right now, because there is another, another mutation of the COVID virus, and so on and so forth, so it is a bit this. Interesting, and we are heading to Christmas. I hope that you have some sort of can enjoy Christmas with your loved ones. I I think in these times it is indeed very interesting and good, or which is good to some sort of celebrate something with your parents uh, or with your family to be connected to them. Family is good. You you know the worth of family if you do if you some sort of had not the best or if you do not have the best family in the world but this is about me uh, and and about the study i have i think this is a good idea where we will some sort of can analyze in this podcast literature with some sort of easy going on a weekly basis then we will see where this leads to, of course, I will start with my favorites, and then some sort of work continues on, um, and then we see how it works and so on. So, so I hope that you all are doing fine. Again, I, I, I said it, and I would appreciate if you would join, join this podcast, listen to it. I mean, I, I did not have so far any comments on my podcast so if so if if you want to, to comment on anything whatever it is so you can do this on social media i always share these podcasts on or on many many social media uh, accounts in instagram as well as in facebook so what is whatever it is we can talk about this and uh i will um, some sort of the use um, partially um, uh, we'll we'll see about this I mean what will we use and so on I mean we we will I don't know quite well how I want to build this I have some very uh, good books and plays in uh, in my head which I personally very much like and which I I would share with you my thoughts on this and so it will be rather my thoughts where I share or where I found some audit taste and then we will some sort of try to construct a form uh, a deeper understanding and hopefully we will some sort of understand the holy grail of writing of understanding uh, of authorship what is what is good? What is if you wanna be a good writer? What should you write about? What is good? What can grasp people's attention and so on and so forth? So, so this was it. This was a very uh, short introduction of what is coming our way. So, take care of yourselves, and I would hope that we would meet again in the next next week and then next year. When so much of life is about the big moments, it's the details in the all-new 2022 Grand Wagoneer that make the small moments truly special. Take joy in American premium design and available technology, like the 23-speaker Macintosh reference entertainment system, and with seating for up to eight, no detail is overlooked, because it's the details that make every journey grand. The Grand Wagoneer. Grand adventures return. Wagoneer is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. It's finally time to start firing up the grill. From city to shore, Acme is everything you need to prep for this summer season. Download the Acme app to shop for this season's essentials any way you want. Open the Acme app, clip your deals, then order your items online. An experienced Acme associate will carefully select your groceries, bag your order, and bring it right to your car or deliver right to your door. Download the app or visit acmemarkets.com for program details.